So how's everybody? Long time no see. Um, I know I haven't been on YouTube in a minute. Uh, you guys know the passing of my mother King uh, occurred and you know, it's still kind of tough. So uh, I am gonna start coming back on. It's one of the first things that we're going to do. Um, some of you guys uh, have started new and you guys have the courses. So I just want you to make sure that you're good on the orientation. So I changed the program up a little bit. I always tweak it based on what you guys are saying. So uh, at this time, you guys can purchase a course and the courses can be uploaded in Google Drive. You can go on any of the marketplaces and upload the course. Some of you who are on payment plans, you have to email me directly and I will put you on a payment plan and I'll show you how to make payments on that. Okay, so again, this will go on YouTube and we're gonna post this tonight. So this is part one of the orientation. Now you guys do have a short version of orientation on YouTube, which is fine because you guys know I try to put something on this so you guys can uh, get an overview and you can kind of find out whether you really wanna do billing and coding or is coding for you. So this will be a little lengthy, but uh, I want you to just take heed to it and see how much of it you can uh, incorporate into the billing and the coding. Remember, this is also in the link. This is gonna be in a Zoom link because I know sometimes it's kind of hard to look at it on YouTube. Um, just do the best you can. If you want the Zoom link, just send me an email, physicians at sapphiacoding.com. Okay, and don't forget, you guys go ahead and roll and um, get into my um, Instagram because you guys know I put a lot of stuff on there. And the Q&A is also on Instagram as well. Uh, I started doing that on Fridays because you guys are sending me a lot of emails and I'm putting it on Facebook and YouTube because there are some people who may have the same questions. Okay, so basically we just, I'm just gonna run down on this. Uh, you guys have this, those of you who are in the classroom, you have this in PDF. I'm just showing it to you in a PowerPoint version. Okay, how to open class lesson in YouTube. You guys already know that, uh, how to open class lesson in YouTube. Basically, you're just gonna open up your YouTube, go to my page, and you can just pick what you wanna look at, okay? Some of you who are paying, um, you may have private links. Uh, if you don't, let me know. I will send you the link, okay? I'm not going to read the whole thing, but um, just, again, highlight the URL and you'll find what you need to find, okay? While you're looking at this on YouTube, you can pause this at any time, okay? So let's just kind of go down. Uh, I'm just going to be talking uh, in regards to your orientation. You guys started in the class. Remember, when you guys do start your new class, you read the chapter and you're going to do the task. I sent you the task already. Uh, some of you already have coding stuff. I want you to just put that coding stuff in a file. And when you get to ICD-10 and CPT, you're going to be ready. So I just want you to see some of the things that you're getting ready to do. Uh, some of you already have medical billing. Uh, so you don't really need to do the medical billing. Uh, but I do send it to you just in case you want to brush up on it. Okay. You can click that YouTube link right there. Or you can just kind of type it in. But again, it's on my YouTube channel, Sapphire position coding, okay? And remember, everything is set by a position coding, Twitter, YouTube, uh, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn. Uh, wait, wait a minute, now LinkedIn is Lisa Lambert. You guys can go on LinkedIn um, if you want to. Okay, so, uh, and uh, TikTok, don't forget that TikTok. Sometimes I post stuff there too. Uh, so, okay, welcome to set by orientation. Remember, this is already on uh, YouTube, okay? It's just a short version. This is a long version. So I may talk through the whole thing, or I may not. It may be an hour, may not. But again, this is a link that you guys already have. This is my email, okay? Take heed to that email. Contact me when you guys need stuff, okay? Uh, you wanna talk about the books? You wanna talk about uh, thrift.com or Amazon? Uh, remember, you can get those books uh, cheap. You don't have to spend a whole lot of money to get those books. You can get those books cheap. Uh, one of the other things I wanted to let you know is that uh, you can do the books on AAPC.com. They might be a little lengthy, um, but that's okay. Don't worry about it. Uh, just get them from thrift.com first. And, you know, if you need the new books, I'll let you know we need, to, we need the new books. I do want you to 
get the books from um, AAPC.com for CPT, Hicks Picks, okay, and the ICD-10. You got to have new books for that. I don't want you to use old books for that, okay, because those codes change. Okay, so uh, who we are, uh, this is in your orientation. You guys go ahead and read that. Okay, we're a virtual coding program. Okay, you guys know anybody who want to learn coding, medical business, let us know. Uh, we don't want you paying $20,000 or more for a, a program. And you guys know, I always post that. I post that uh, that tuition. I take the name off because you don't need to know who's posting. Uh, you know, they don't need to know who's posting their tuition. Okay, so uh, again, uh, there's my email. And, you know, I give the students, again, 100% attention. Uh, if I don't get back to you, text me, email me. Ms. Lambert, I sent you XYZ. I'm waiting for you to get back to me. I'll get back to you, okay? And, and remember, you guys are going to receive a certificate for the program, okay? And this program, again, is to get you ready to take your CPC. You know, if you, if you decide to take it online, uh, there's no second chance, but you do get uh, two sessions to take it online, okay? So just make sure if you do decide to take it online, you can take it Monday and then take the other half on Wednesday. If you take it in person and God forbid you fail, you can take it again. You have an opportunity to take it again. Okay, this is aapc.com, okay? Let's just kind of move on and pretty much the forum. The forum is Facebook discussion board, you know, text, email, YouTube, okay? That is the forum. Um, this is also uh, in your orientation uh, file, and your orientation file should be in a PDF. Um, there's always motivation, and that's what this is about. You know, it's about motivation, you know, helping you get your own business, helping you learn coding, uh, you know, helping you get to where you want to be. Uh, this is my uh, website. You guys know my website. I have two. I have this one and the other one. The other one is B2B. Uh, that's business to business. That's uh, hospitals and doctors who want me to come in as a director or, you know, liaison or they need coders or X, Y, Z. I kind of refer you guys to them, uh, those of you who do have your certification. Okay. Uh, and again, you know, join us, you know, check us out on Facebook, you know, Step 5 Physician Coding is a page. Uh, you know, I always put some motivation uh, writings in there. Make sure you guys check that out. Okay. Uh, Sapphire creates ways for the student. Of course we do. Listen, if you have something and you're having trouble with it, let's say I'm sending you something through Google Drive and you're not getting it or you're having a problem opening it, I can still attach those files to your email. So just let me know. We'll make it happen. Okay. Uh, you can go to Amazon.com. Uh, we have created a series for the program. Um, I started with one just to see how it would kick off. Um, I haven't put it in ebook, so I'm going to drop that in ebook as well as the medical building code and Q&A Q &A book uh, just to see um, how it rolls out. Uh, but again, you know, those books are for people who have never done building or coding before. OK, so again, follow us on Instagram. Um, I'm looking for that Instagram to start moving. I'm looking for the YouTube to start moving. Uh, let's just get it going because we, you know, we want to be known, you know, we want to be known just like everybody else. We want to teach, we want to learn, you know, we want our school to, you know, prosper and be uh, identified as a school. Right now we're an online program and um, we're probably at the first black online program, but we want to gear towards the same, um, the same prospect as, you know, other online schools. So make sure you guys enroll. You know, you guys know sometimes I roll this thing out at a zero price sometimes. So just, you know, Pay attention to my Facebook. So uh, again, let's get started. So you guys know there are 21 courses. The 21 courses are based on the ICD-10 book. Every subject in that book, we go over. That ICD-10 book, make sure that you study those guidelines. No guidelines, no pass. No guidelines, no work. The guidelines are the coding. So uh, make sure you pay attention to all guidelines. I don't care if it's CPT or HICSPIX. Uh, all those classes are geared towards guidelines. Um, we can't just code and we're just thinking of, uh, you know, codes and think they're correct. Even if you're using an Optum 360 or, uh, you know, code that, you still have to have knowledge of the guidelines because you, you must make sure that you're picking the right uh, code. If you guys have a provider who uh, that you're teaching, those of you who've gone on and had your own business, you have a provider, you have several providers that you're teaching how to code. You're telling him, okay, listen, you need to use XYZ. You have your backup because you've read the guidelines, okay? 
um, in TCI, make sure that you read that. That's in the class. That's in the class. So you'll learn about all those things, federal guidelines, uh, Medicare, Medicaid. Uh, that's in your course. Okay. So are you ready? You guys are going to hear me say this throughout the course. And some of the slides, you know, I made sure I repeat them to make sure that you are clear on what I'm giving you. Okay. This is what you need. Laptop, desktop, phone, PDF. Uh, if you guys have a scanner, printer. Some of you like to print. That's fine. You don't have to print everything. I mean, you guys can save whatever you want you know, that I give you. That's fine. If you want to print, you can print. The test that I sent you, you can print those if you want to. Uh, I said to, you know, drop them in a file. Some of you have actual hard copy files. You got, I just have a big desk back here, but I moved it so I can show you guys. But you guys know what I'm talking about. Just get your file and put your tests in there. Remember, those tests come back to me. Okay, so uh, course directives. I always tell you guys how the course goes. I always talk about how the course goes. Uh, I want to make sure people are clear on the course. Even if I say something twice in, in a different way, it is the same. So that's just to make sure you guys are uh, have clarity on the course. Class introduction, orientation, PowerPoint, class syllabus, course description, course class outline, assignments, completion, uh, assignment record. I have so many things in this program, there's no way you can get lost. I even created stuff in this program to help you along the way. So no, you guys know I do not uh, micromanage. I don't micromanage anybody. I manage. So if you got a problem, make sure you call me and let me know. Because a lot of you are not able to get on, on live Zooms. What I'm going to start doing is when I drop this, uh, pop this thing on YouTube, I'll, I'll be on. So whatever questions you guys want to ask in regards to it, just let me know. Okay, how do you navigate through your Sephi class? That's there as well. Take your time and read it. What I do is I send you three files a day. That's the first week of orientation. This information is in there, so you're not overwhelmed with the reading, okay? Please have your CPT, ICD-10, and your Higgs Peak Manual while you are in session, because you're going to need to look at it at some point. Same thing with your medical terminology. When you are studying, have your books around you so that you can uh, look at them in case you need some. You can always use search engine when you need to find something, but uh, this is just how you're going to navigate through your class. Um, view the system lessons and video chats. Video chats are YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, watch them, because those two is where I'm going to put the most information. I have Twitter as well. I have a lot of hospitals and different things like that on Twitter. You guys can go in there when you want to put in applications or look for different hospitals or facilities. I have Georgia, Texas, Dallas, Maryland, a whole bunch of, I didn't do all 50 so-and-so so states, but uh, there's enough in there for you guys to learn. Manuals, uh, use your manuals accordingly to the chapter. If you are in chapter one, you should be completing tests for chapter one. If you are in 21, you should be completing test 21. The medical terminology, uh, there are 50 questions in each 21. Each 21 chapters, there's a test. I've sent you those. Uh, those of you who have started in medical terminology, uh, you've got to do the medical terminology. If you, you don't know medical terminology, there's no way you're going to get through uh, coding. Uh, so your lessons are in PDF. You guys already know that. I send them to you through Google Drive. Okay. Uh, and, and guess what? Google Drive, you'll never lose it. I, I won't say that. Google, Google don't, don't go ahead and mess up because you guys know I had a travesty with my Mac. So um, I'm, I'm making it through uh, with my Mac. You know, I have all of my stuff backed up, but you know, I'm so used to using my Mac. It's like I was a newbie at the HP right now. So uh, my son says, you know, I shouldn't get the Mac. He bought it for me, but he's telling me that I shouldn't, shouldn't have got the Mac. Uh, so I don't know. My Mac crashed. It's, it's my fault. I spilled water in it before I went on a trip. But don't worry. I got everything for you guys. Books. Um, there's a file for the books. Take a look at the books that you need. The books are expensive. Okay, I can't show you the books. But you're going to get one at a time, which one, whichever one you're on. Okay, now all the coding, you, you got to have all the books for the coding. Okay, the other books are medical billing and, and, and uh, medical terminology. I give you the medical terminology you already know. You don't need a brand new because the book, last book for medical terminology was like 2020 or 2019. And all they do is just change the date on it. Medical terminology words are not going to change. Coding changes. Okay, they update those codes all the time. So that's why I don't want you to use any old books for that. Okay, medical billing, uh, separate session. That is a separate session. I just kind of threw that in. Uh, I didn't even have a medical billing. But I had a couple of people who 
I would say, you know, do you guys want to do coding? Oh, what's, what's coding? What's that? And, uh, you know, that was like the killjoy. I was like, so I had to drop medical billing in there because I have a lot of people who are not familiar with coding. And when I start talking about medical billing, oh, wow, really? That's why I dropped medical billing in there. I want you guys to know medical billing as well. Okay, S discussion board. We just talked about discussion board. Discussion board is everything. You call me, you text me, you email me, Google me, Zoom me, whatever you want to do. Um, that's how you're going to get in touch with me. I am a emailer. I am a Google Drive person. Uh, I'm a text person. Whatever you want to do, let's do it. This is an online course. So some of you who live in Ohio, uh, I have a couple of you that live in Ohio, you text me. No problem. I have one or two of you guys in Texas. Text me. No problem. Okay. That's how we communicate. You want to talk? We can talk. You want to schedule one-on-one? -on -one? Go to www.sapphirephysiciancoding.org. Okay. No problem. You guys find a way. I'm always on at some point. I've got an iPad that, they keep, that I keep with me around the clock. Okay. And I'm, I'm always checking it. So, you know, what to go? BPTU, Black Phoenix Team Us. Let's do it. Okay. I'm dropping in Black Phoenix Team Us because I want you guys to uh, get acquainted with Black Phoenix Team Us. That is a group that I am forming. That is my new, uh, that is my new team. This is a firm that's going to help you. Uh, I want you to have your own business. I want you to know about businesses. Any one of you guys out there who would like to contribute to BPTU, request. Request to sign in and I'll let you in. Okay. And remember, guys, uh, Sapphire Position Code is always open for any type of suggestions. The goal is to better the program. The better the, pro the program, the better you will be. Okay. So this is the end of the first session of the orientation. I'm just going to jump over to that second part uh, slide. You guys can see that uh, just so that uh, we can kind of get through um, both of them. Uh, I'm going to widen it a little bit so we can see it. Uh, okay. So again, you guys already have some of this on YouTube, I'm just putting the whole orientation there. And your chats will be like this. Uh, when you are, let's say you're in medical terminology, okay? I'll send you the link for medical terminology. I'm giving you a rundown of what we're doing in the classroom. You want a live session? You can always do a one-on-one -on -one session. We can do a live session, no problem. Before I shoot these Zooms out, I usually send out the code for the Zoom and what time I'm doing it. The reason why I'm not sending one out for this one is because I've been off YouTube for a while. And you guys know the rules, you know, YouTube University, let's keep it consistent. Uh, so that's why I've not put this out uh, on the Zoom. I've not sent you guys an email uh, in regards to Facebook or Instagram. Um, but you guys can request that link. Okay, that's those of you who are in the classroom, you will get this link so that you can go through this at home or you can go through it with your regular Zoom. Make sure you have Zoom downloaded on your computer. Okay, or, or your iPad or your Mac. Okay, so again, here it is here, uh, our Clyde Zoom class lesson video. So that's the same thing, you know, if you, like I'm doing it now, you guys are having been able to get it on, it on YouTube, just archive it, put the code in and it'll just pop up. When I'm doing it on YouTube, I'm there on the YouTube. When I post this, when I post it, I'm already in there. I'm waiting for you guys to answer questions. Some of you, uh, most of you, you guys are listening to the video. But then I get the emails, which I'm seeing where, you know, people talk, you know, I'm on. So ask me the question while I'm on, which I think is cool. I think that's, I think that's absolutely cool. So yeah, that's the way we do. So again, uh, access to archive uh, virtual chat. Okay, if you if you if you don't know how to do that, just give me a phone call and I'll go ahead and show you how to do it, or send me a text or send me a message, Messenger, Instagram, whatever, Facebook, Twitter, just send me a message. Uh, okay, so students' primary course. This is pretty much just letting you know where you should be starting at as an individual course. This is uh, it's kind of small. Uh, I'm, I'm going to see if we can make this a little bit bigger. I know you guys are uh, watching on, on the YouTube, but it's, it's, it's kind of small to me. I'm going to try to make it as big as, as big as we can. That's that's a little bit better. You know, I apologize for the first video. I should have made it a little bigger so you can see it. So uh, the program allows students to purchase courses individually. Yes. You do not have to purchase the whole package. Sometimes I throw it out there for $199. The package right now uh, is a promo code for $4.99. Always watch out for those promo codes that I do. 
you can purchase one course, two course, three course, four courses. Uh, sometimes I throw promos for $39.99 for one course or even $19.99. And just because I want you to learn, I want you to understand medical bills. I want you to understand um, coding. Boom, pass your CPC. That's the goal. That's the purpose of this, passing the CPC. Those of you who are coming out of high school, come with me. I'm going to show you how to do medical billing and coding. Okay, and I'm going to put you in the right place. So absolutely, you guys do not have to purchase the whole course. I have some students who want to study just cardiology. You know, okay, so just purchase the cardiology course, $39.99. You know, you can't be that. You can't be that. Sometimes I put it for $19.99, but I'm on a good mood. I give it away. You know, so I'll do one course and then I'll throw another course in um, with that. So, you know, watch, watch out for those things. But again, you know, this course is lifetime. I try to show you everything that you need to know. Okay, so what I'm having a problem with right now, it looks like just, I can't see everything on one page when I'm getting ready to do this. I got to be moving. Okay, so once you open um, sapphirecoding.com, everything is there. I even have uh, double sites on there. And you know what? When you go on sapphirecoding.com, there's a tab there where you can go straight to the marketplace. So I have a few different marketplaces. I have uh, ecstasy.com. There's blackphoenixsales.etsy.com. I have blackphoenixsales.myshopify.com and amazon.com. Amazon, just put in the name of the book, Medical Billing and Coding Q&A, or just put Sapphire Physician Coding, and the courses will come up. Okay, if you have a problem, make sure you uh, get a hold of me. Okay, lisa.lambert at Sapphire coding.com or physicians at sapphirecoding.com. So again, you can schedule a one-on-one -on -one with me. Uh, listen, don't be afraid to schedule a one-on-one, -on -one, even if it's on the phone. I have students to actually call me and they don't realize it, but we're actually doing a one-on-one. -on -one. And a one-on-one -on -one is, you know, we're talking on the phone and you're asking me questions. It's actually a one-on-one. -on -one. So uh, what I'd love is that you guys are sending me a text first and then I'm calling you back and we're doing a one-on-one. -on -one. That's fine. Some people need to make an appointment. Some people make an appointment through sapphirephysiciancoding.org. You don't have to. I mean, you can call me and I'll call you right back, okay? Uh, so again, you know, just check that out. Uh, go to sapphirephysiciancoding.com and then, you know, we'll hit you up. I see a small error right here. I'm going to fix this right now. You guys know how I am about errors. And then, you know, I have my son. He's looking over this one, but he's probably... Okay, so uh, again, you know, this is the syllabus uh, information that's on the syllabus. You guys already have this information. That's the Zoom number. That's the new number. If I use a different Zoom or if I change or anything, I will let you guys know. Okay, but again, you know, go on to sapphirecoding.com and you guys will have everything, uh, everything that you need. Okay, uh, this right, this right here, uh, I changed that to a second business number, so I'm going to give you the other number to call. Uh, you can call, but I don't see people using this phone number. Everybody seems to be using the 825 number, so that's why I'm dropping that in there. Okay, so let's move on. This slide is about 30 slides, and it won't be that long, okay? So, again, you know, this is just how you get to me, you know. Anytime you guys need to get to me, I always try to put uh, my uh, information everywhere, and you'll see it several times so you can get in touch with me. Course competencies and program subject. When I say competency, it is a test. The competency is your final exam. If you are taking ICD-10, there is a final exam in ICD-10. It should be about 50 questions. If you are taking CPT, uh, the CPT course, there is an exam there. Now, the CPT course is long. There's 150 questions in there. And the reason why there's 150 questions in there is because I want you to, I'm mimicking the CPC. So I made enough questions in there so that you can have like a pretest of taking the CPC, okay? So if you're taking medical terminology, medical insurance bill, same thing. There's a competency after that. The competency is to see, are you competent enough to take the exam? That's what it means. Okay, so uh, methods of instruction. I have all kinds of ways of instruction. You guys know that. Uh, I, I may drop something on an email, that's your instruction. I may send something in a text, that's your instruction. Most of your instruction will be on YouTube, so just remember that. Uh, I try to post it for everybody um, on YouTube, except that students who are paying, they get different uh, they get different courses, they get different lessons. So uh, just be precarious of this. This um, is an orientation. Everybody gets an orientation. So it's, you know, more or less uh, information for you, okay? Um, and this is the same. This is just a second piece of method of instruction. 
Sapphire Bill McCody's uh, uh, session instructor letter. You guys already have this. This is basically all of my emails, how you can get in touch with me. That's all it is. Uh, remember what I said? I always put information there as far as how you're going to get in touch with me. Because you guys know I have a problem trying to look at this camera, but it, it, it doesn't work all the time. I'm, I have to look at what I'm, what I'm trying to show you guys. So again, uh, these are the materials, book, flash drive, smartphone, computer, X, Y, Z. I say flash drive because when you go on Ecstasy and um, Shopify and some of those, the course actually comes a uh, hard copy as well. You guys see me show that box several times. Look through some of these uh, slides or some of the YouTube uh, shows and you, you'll see that I also send it in flash drive. And you also yourself can put it on a flash drive. Okay, so uh, again, uh, program functionality just tells you how the program goes. Uh, that is the phone ringing. Disregard the phone ringing. I actually thought I had it on mute, but apparently it is not on mute. Uh, but we're going to kind of just keep it moving and kind of bypass it. Uh, so again, the program description. I've also put that in there for you. I have a program description of about 15 or 20 pages, and this is to let you know how the program is structured. Okay, and again, you see how I have this in here, program functionality, and it's kind of duped in there. That's because this slide that I made, I wanted to make sure that I put everything in there that you guys will not forget. If I repeat it, that means do not forget it. Do not forget it. I want you to take note of it. Put it on your index cards or put it in your flash drive so you don't forget it. Here it is where I always repeat to retain. This is what I do. I repeat so that you guys can take heed to what I'm saying. So yeah, you're gonna see some repeats in here, okay? Visual, video, I can't even say it, visual, video chats, uh, Google Drive, uh, live lectures, you know, get in on them because that's how you get to respond. Okay, course retrieval. You guys can get the course from me. I can upload it to you or you can go online and upload it from there. Okay. If you go online, SG, Amazon or one of them, they're basically going to send me an email and say, hey, somebody purchased a the course. They want you to send this because I don't use the Amazon, um, Amazon um, warehouse. I'll send it myself. Okay, post the email, text, so you guys understand that. We talked about that a few minutes ago. Here's my email. Uh, make sure you have that email because that's where we do a lot of our discussions. Um, lecture uploads, uh, YouTube, Zoom, you guys already see that. That's what we do. Okay. Um, and again, I'm just kind of going down the line. Once in here, this, this right here is great. I don't know if I've ever posted this on YouTube, but I'm posting it now. It's pretty much your uh, course uh, schedule. Okay, it's a course schedule, a course description. The course is mainly theory. Um, let me see, total hours. I got to make it bigger because, you know, I can't even see that myself. Okay, theory, practice, and total hours. Okay, and it's all in here. What's in here is what we're doing. Okay. And the hours vary because I'm pretty sure I made the course longer than this when I first when I first made this. But this just this gives you an idea of how long it is. When I say uh, let me give it, when I say theory, uh, we're reading YouTube, uh, Instagram, uh, Twitter. When I say practice, we're testing. Those are the tests that I have given you. Those are the tasks that I have given you. Those are the exercises that you are doing. Okay, there are two types of tests: the exams uh, and the subject quizzes. All right. You guys know the difference between quizzes and exams. That's something that you can just take and you're practicing on. I've given you a grade on them, but you guys know I hate grades. I like A, B, C, D, but I don't even like grading at all because I don't like students to feel like they're getting a better grade than another student. So you guys know I hate that, but I do give you grades on your tasks because you must pass all of those tasks for the 70 and better. I'd like 85 and better on all tests. That doesn't make me worry when you're taking your CPC. Some of you prefer me to be there with you uh, taking the CPC, but I, I prefer 85 on each one of those tests that you get. Uh, every time I send you a course, a test comes with that course. If you've got CPT, I've sent you the tasks that I want you to do already. Just forward them back to me. You don't have the competency. If you do, let me know. That's fine. Just don't touch it till you're ready to do it. Because I still I still have to grade it, okay? Uh, your pre-exam for that uh, for that CPT, you have to send it back to me. I have to grade it. I want you guys to get an 85 and better on that. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. If you don't get an 85, I want you to do it again. So directed medical terminology book three. You guys already know that. I send you guys that uh, in the uh, ebook form. I love that book. I'm telling you. 
You see how that, that's right here at the picture. Uh, so uh, set a goal for yourself. I want you to set a goal for yourself because we've got to make sure that you are par in the billing and the coding. If you're not par in the billing and you tell me you know billing, I'm going to give you billing again. Okay? I'm going to give you billing again. Okay? If you say you're not par with it, you've already purchased all the other courses. Uh, I'm going to give you billing for free, so don't worry about that. Quiz and test uh, at the end of the course. Okay? So just be precarious with me sending you tests. I'm going to send you tasks, trust me. When I say tasks, I mean tests. Okay. Tasks as in you're going to practice this, practice for that, for your benefit. Uh, your assignment should be posted back to the instructor by Sunday. Uh, no specific time. Just try to get, get it back to me so that I can have it returned to you, you know, by at least Friday. I want to have it graded by Wednesday. Okay. Give it back to you by Friday. Friday is when I want to, you know, make sure you guys have everything back. So uh, let me know. Y'all know today is Friday. Uh, if some of y'all are missing tests. Uh, let me know. You shouldn't be because I've been on top of grading your tests, okay? So, but just let me know, okay? And uh, this is just an example of how the work submission is going to go. Uh, yeah, it's 2020 because that's probably all over when I actually did that uh, that uh, that serum so I could show you guys how to return your test, how to send it to me. Okay, we are pleased to have you in the program to do stuff by coding, coming to satisfy coder. Okay, it is a skill that is in high demand. Becoming a medical coder can allow you to work at home. At a facility or an office, Sapphire used a lifetime of skills to teach its students the necessary requirements to pass their CPC exam. That's what it's about, passing your CPC exam, learning medical billing and coding. You can go work in an office if you want to. I mean, my course, I have some people who crashed this course in 10 weeks. My goal is four to five months. You know, my goal is four to five months. The traditional is six months until you get experience. Remember when you go for your CPC, you come in as an apprentice uh, because you don't have coding experience, but you can be a biller if you want to work at a hospital. You present your certificate if they ask, if they say what school you went to, Sapphire Physician Coding is a school that I went to, Sapphire Physician Coding is a program that I went to. You have your certificate, they will call me and I will verify it, okay? So, you know, just remember that you are, you are in a, a legit school, just like any other school, you will get a certificate for your program. You need no credits for this program. We are not a college. We do not need financial aid. So we do not need to be accredited. So, you know, just remember that, you know, at some point, if we get big enough where, you know, we have thousands and thousands of students, uh, I'll, be, I'll, I'll be glad when we get there. Uh, yes, I'll be taking financial, financial aid. Okay. And yes, I'll drop some credit um, courses in there. For the meantime, that is not necessary. This is a certificate course and you will pass this course. Just continue to work hard. Continue to work hard and do what you need to do. Do not give up. You guys know how I am about motivation. Sometimes I tell my own self, motivation is the key. Motivation is the key. Set five position coding through the roof. I will see you guys next time. I'm going to sign off on this. And anybody who needs to get in touch with me, you see my email, you see the website, make sure that you get in touch with me. Because the only way we're going to succeed in this is if we work together. You have to work together. Working together makes this possible. It makes this possible. I always tell you guys, if you do not have a YouTube channel, make sure that you get a YouTube channel. Because the YouTube channel, um, I put a lot of stuff on YouTube. Okay? I put a lot of stuff on YouTube. And that's where, you know, a lot of my programs are. Uh, so... Those of you who are actually in the classroom, make sure that you look at the classroom um, files because that's where I put a lot of my stuff in there too. Uh, I'm just trying to make this bigger so that um, we can uh, stop the share and we can go ahead and discuss some other things. Now, some of you who want to join the classroom uh, have never done medical billing, you know, and coding before. Uh, that's fine. Um, that's what the class is for. That's what I teach you. Medical billing and coding, or if you just want to know medical billing, that's fine. You've got to have a new book. You've got to have a new book. Uh, the CPC, the IGD-10, and the HICS books. They have to be current books because you're still going to use these books to take your test. Remember, you're going to highlight in those books. You're going to write in those books. No stickies. So you guys know you can't put stickies in those books. Uh, some of you who are walking in physically to take your exam, um, they're checking your books, trust me. Even when you're doing online, uh, they're still checking your books. You've got to have that 360 camera. They've got to see you all around you and they're gonna say, flip through your book, they're gonna see your book and they make sure that you're taking your test in the same book, okay? 
So uh, again, we're going to drop this uh, on the YouTube, and this is your orientation. This is it. I've sent you this. Uh, go over it. If you get stuck, call me. If you get stuck, uh, your courses will come in the same form on your Google Drive, okay? Um, I will drop them on your Google Drive. Um, some of you who are in the classes before, make sure you hit me up because some of you may want to rejoin the classroom. That's fine. I can put you in where you left off that. Uh, I'm going to start dropping emails to some of you guys who are in the classroom that I see. And you know what's crazy? I see some of you guys that some of you were in the classroom, then you, then you got a job and then you didn't want to do the classroom. And then I see some of you, oh, you want to come back? Well, you got to call me first so you can come back in the, in the classroom. Okay. So uh, put it on your resume. Put it on your resume. They call me. I'll verify some of the classes that you did. Okay. So, uh, again, you know, I'm going to sign off right now. You'll see another video soon. Um, this one, I just wanted to throw out there. The next video, uh, it, it's going to be linked. I got to give it to the students. It's going to be for the medical terminology and insurance bill. There's a video already on YouTube. You guys already know. So uh, check that out. Okay. So I'm going to sign off right now. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Uh, send me your questions. Let me know uh, if you guys have any questions about anything or the course. Remember, when I post this on YouTube, I will be on YouTube. Ask whatever questions you want, okay? Uh, so do not forget, ask whatever questions you want. I'm going to stop the recording, and I'll see you next time. Lisa Lambert, Sapphire Physician Coding. Do not forget about BlackPhoenix.com, okay? BlackPhoenixTeamNuts, okay? .com, okay? Send me an email, and I'll put you in that group. Bye.